In this video, I am going to explain about minimum spanning tree. So we know what you already people know what you mean by tree. Okay. So here, given one graph, one graph is given. So that is graph is defined as what set of vertices and edges. Given one graph, let us take some one connected weighted graph, a simple one. So let us take this is three, this is five, this is two, this is four. So this is one simple graph. Now for this graph, we need to construct minimum spanning tree. What do you mean by tree? Tree is again a set of vertices and edges which is having parent-child relationship. Okay, but the, the major difference between tree and graph is what? Graph may have cycle, but tree should never have graph cycle. Okay, so we can say tree is an acyclic. Okay, tree is an what? Acyclic graph. A cyclic. That means it is they should not have any of the cycle. That is called a cyclic or acyclic. So we need to construct minimum span tree for this given graph. So what do you mean by the span tree? Span tree is nothing but a tree which includes all these vertices, that is nodes, all the nodes without cycle. Okay. Spanning tree is the tree which includes all the nodes of the given graph without cycle. Spanning tree is a tree which includes all the vertices of the given graph without cycle. That's it. Okay. So main thing is you need to include all the vertices and you should not have cycle. That's what the spanning tree. So let us construct. So spanning tree for this graph. Okay. We know that what? So we know that for this all the vertices we need to include. So A, B, C, D, all the vertices. Now include, so this is one possible. See, I included all the vertices, all are connected. There is no cycle. This is one span tree. So this weight is what? 3, 5, 4. Similarly, another possibility. So now this one, I return. So now I, this is another option. Correct. So that means now again, we include all, this is also one span tree. We include all the vertices. There is no cycle. Okay. So similarly, for this given graph, so these are the three possible span trees. See, look at all these span trees. So all these span trees is having all the nodes of the given graph. There is no cycle. We include all the vertices. See, all the vertices are there. No cycle. Okay. These are the possible span entry for this problem for some other problem it may have many number of options but for this example we have three possibilities all these are span entry now let us see what is the total weight of this span entry so 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 4 12 the total weight of this span entry is 12 similarly the total weight of this is 3 plus 2 5 plus 4 9 this is the total weight of this span entry so this is 7 plus 4 11. This is the total weight of this one. Okay, out of that, so which is having minimum total weight 12, 9, 11, so 9. So this is our what? Minimum spanning tree. What well, minimum spanning tree is the spanning tree whose total weight should be minimum when compared to other. See, now I told again this uh, in order to construct minimum spanning tree, we are using greedy technique. Okay, greedy technique is used to obtain optimal solution. See, all these are feasible solution. Out of this all feasible solution, we are selecting one feasible solution, which is satisfying the objective of the problem. In this problem, objective of the problem is what? Minimum. So, whichever the spanning tree gives minimum total, right? So, that will be the minimum spanning tree. So, in order to construct minimum spanning tree for the given graph, we are using two algorithm. One is Prim's algorithm and another one is Kruskal algorithm. Okay, these are the two algorithms which are used to construct minimum spanning tree. Hope you people are understood. If you have any questions, please write it in the comments. Thank you. Thanks for watching.